Now they say that good food brings people together and I couldn't agree more. And you could say that's the case for this Southwest Detroit couple. It even led them to open their own business called Detroit Loves Tacos. Michelle Oliver is over there with the usual to share their story and their menu for Takeout Tuesday. Detroit Loves Tacos is adding a kick to Taco Tuesday by offering a special style of dipping tacos, plus empanadas and more. I'm joined by husband and wife duo Jason and Julie Stevens, the owner of the owners of Detroit Loves Tacos. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having us. Thank you for having us. So, Jason, I hear you are kind of a big part of encouraging Julie to open up Detroit Loves Tacos, and I hear it started maybe with a date. Can you tell us about how this all happened? Yeah, she uh, cooked for me about three times, and it was a wrap after that. It was a wrap after that? Yeah, he was single for 12 years before me. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess you guys are a strong, of the strong opinion that the way through to a price. man's heart is through his stomach. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, let's talk about some of these special tacos. Um, Julie, can you talk about what kind of tacos you're going to show us? What are, what are these special ones that you're making? Sure, absolutely. We have the halal chicken birria, which we're the only ones in Detroit that actually serve this particular one. Nice. And then we have the uh, birria de res, which is the beef version of it as well. So yeah. can we talk a little bit about what birria is for those that maybe haven't had a birria taco before? Because they're all over Facebook and yep. Instagram right now, but um, what are they? They're actually uh, a taco. It's a, a beef that's cooked in its own juices. Uh, you put some special herbs, like, you know, you freshly grind allspice and ginger and all that great stuff. Get that mortar and pestle yep. out and you, really grind that's it. That's why I do it still. Yeah, that's how good. It's still, you, gotta, you gotta keep the tradition. Um, they're just a traditional taco. Uh, you know, I was inspired by my, my mom and, and my grandma and everything like that, the food is love. So I cook for my customers the same way I cook for my family. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. And so you actually, you dip them as well into, yes. here we have them too. What are these two sauces? I, mean, I know that because they have chicken and yeah. beef, but what do you dip them in? Into the actual, uh, it's sort of like an au jus, right? Yep. So it's like the broth that I actually cook them in is what you dip them in. I give it back to you. Nice. So, yep, you get all the flavor of the, what I cook the chicken in or what I cook the beef in. Awesome. And so you have more than just birria tacos. You also have empanadas, yes. cubanos. Can we talk about some of the dishes you have up front here? Yep. We have uh, my empanadas, which we have a dipanada here, which is a cubano dipanada, which is it has a pickle, ham, uh, marinated lechon, and Swiss cheese in there. So it's like a cubano sandwich, but Ooh. in an empanada, it's served with a dip, so it becomes a dipanada. <laughs> and then we have uh, uh, chicken empanadas and ground beef traditional empanadas here. And then and I have my uh, Cuban sandwich, which I learned to make in Miami for the short period of time I was living there. I do mine just the way I was taught, the basics, marinated lechon, the ham, the cheese, pickles, and my own mustard sauce. Very and nice. Bread. Yep. And for lechon, for those that don't know, what is that? Uh, lechon is pulled pork. Pulled pork, yep. exactly. Oh, that sounds so good. So you kind of briefly mentioned this earlier, but who really inspired your recipes? My mom. Your mom. What, what about what about your mom inspired? Uh, are these like family recipes then? Yes. Well, my mom, this is a, like a, a rice that she makes, a Mexican rice, and we call it mom's rice made with love. Mm -hmm. So that's a staple in our family. That's like was served with everything, along with my grandmother showed me how to make these beans. So it's like a, a family. It's a family affair. Yes, absolutely. Awesome. Well, I want to dig into some of these tacos, but we also, guess what, guys? have some tacos for Tati because they are gluten free, oh, yeah. they are dairy free. She is so excited and sitting over there. So Tati. I already took a bite because I'm, I'm doing my part. Thank you. Thank and you. It was awesome. delicious. This thank was you. so tasty. Um, thank you so much. You're welcome. You're welcome. Y Michelle, please try some. Okay, so I'm going to dig in as well. So these ones over here are the beef. beef. So right. I'll and try. And that's the beef consomme here. And that's the beef consomme. So can yeah. you tell me, um, Jason, where are you guys located and how can people find out more information about you? Um, 1444 West Fort Street, uh, across from the main post office in Happy Four Liquor. And we're on all social media. Um, uh, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Thank you so much. Sorry, you can keep talking. I'm eating. Yeah. They're so good, guys. They're so good. Definitely check, come check them out. Absolutely. You can find us at www.detroitlovestacos.com. Thank you so much. And we love your tacos. I'm going to say that. This Thank is you. so good. Delicious. <laughs>